Sylvia Fedorak was born in Kenora, Saskatchewan, and as a young prairie girl, she had a passion for sports of all kinds. Sylvia excelled at the championship level in curling, softball, volleyball, and basketball, just to name a few. She was a medal winner in four sports at the 1947 Dominion Track and Field Championships and was a member of the winning team at the National Women's Curling Championships in Ottawa in 1961. One thing led to another through my university career and I participated in, uh, I was on uh, 12 inter-university championship teams. Uh, she's been uh, on the Hall of Fame, Saskatchewan Hall of Fame uh, for sports, uh, Hall of Fame uh, uh, for our curling. Uh, uh, I mean, it's remarkable. Sylvia's excellence on the sports field was replicated in her academic path as well. And the Governor General's gold medal was awarded to the most distinguished graduate of any college, Sylvia Fedorik. Sylvia's leadership, drive, and team skills were qualities that infused her ultimate career in biophysics research. She really does see that the work was a teamwork, and that there was a contribution by all of the members, and it's quite interesting to think that her association with sports would, uh, would contribute to that. And it was, from then on, it was physics all the way, and medical physics. Early in her medical research career, and as the first and only woman biophysicist in Canada at the time, Sylvia Fedorik was one of four members of the team that invented the Cobalt-60 therapy unit, the world's first effective radiation machine for the treatment of cancer. She was particularly interested, and the team was particularly interested, in developing curative therapies for malignant disease using this technology. She's been a key member to move forward the whole aspect of this, what we call cobalt bomb. I believe the first person that, that they actually irradiated subsequently died at age 96. So it was a very, very successful story very early on. And it has uh, changed the way we treat uh, malignant disease. And it was a real story, a real Canadian story, and especially in my eyes, a very Saskatchewan story. Within 10 years, the Cobalt-60 therapy unit had become the standard equipment of radiation therapists around the world. And it's estimated that by the end of the century, it had been used to help more than 70 million people worldwide. I cannot think of anything more exciting than this discovery of Cobalt-60 and radiation therapy in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer patient. Later in her career, Dr. Fedorik contributed to the development of the dosimeter, which allowed doctors to control the amount of targeted radiation that cancer patients received. Ed Epp and I were responsible for uh, the uh, measurement of the actual depth dose and the isodose distributions. She actually developed the the calculation tables that told you what the radiation dosage would be at different um, irradiation strengths and depths within the body. Dr. Fedorak also participated in the development of one of the world's first nuclear scanning machines that used iodine to help detect cancer in the thyroid. Dr. Fedorak played a major role once again in uh, the scanning process, radionuclides, what they call for the use of various cancers, especially thyroid, liver, and other scanning process. And it is a, a process which is even used today. Dr. Fedorak went on to serve as Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan before being appointed as the first woman Lieutenant Governor of the province, where it is said she served for 10 years with wisdom, warmth, grace, and a good measure of diplomacy. Oh, the best time of our life, I think, is, is the, from the moment that uh, the Prime Minister Mulroney phoned me. He uh, asked me whether I would like to be the Lieutenant Governor. People warmed to her, and that's why she was such a perfect Lieutenant Governor. Dr. Sylvia Fedorak's contributions to biophysics research 
and the improvement of patient treatment outcomes worldwide are immense. Her countless achievements and firsts as a pioneering woman are most inspiring. She is one of Canada's outstanding women in just any way you want to measure. The word hero is used quite often, and I don't feel I'm a hero. I just feel that I was around at the right time doing what I was supposed to do, and uh, uh, I've made a contribution, and I'm proud of it. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Sylvia Fedorak.